Hey what is up guys I'm Steve and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a Raspberry Pi as a NAS or a network attached storage. A NAS is a file storage system that is connected to your home network. It can stream movies, TV shows and any other file content to any device that is over your network. First you need to install the Raspbian OS on the Raspberry Pi. The details on how to do that can be found in the description. After you have installed the OS, you need to connect the Pi to the computer. You can do this via SSH or serial. I am going to show you how to do this over serial. I am using a USB to serial cable which I found on eBay. This cable plugs into the GPIO extensions of the Raspberry Pi and to monitor the connection I am using PuTTY. Make sure you select the right COM port and select the baud rate to 115200. Once the connection is successfully established, you should see the Raspberry Pi login screen. The default username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Now plug in a LAN cable to your router and the Raspberry Pi to give it internet access. In the serial terminal run sudo apt-get update and this should update the Pi. If your hard disk is formatted to NTFS, you need to install a package to get NTFS support. The package is called NTFS-3G. You could install it by typing sudo apt-get install ntfs-3g. After that is done, we need to mount the drives to a specific folder. Follow the on-screen commands on how to do that. Next it is time to install Samba. Samba is a software we use to set up our NAS and it can be installed by typing the on-screen command. Now let's configure Samba. Before doing that, let's back up the old configuration file. In the configuration file, scroll down to the bottom of the file and type in the following lines. These few lines set up a new folder to share and the lines can also be found in the description. Next it is time to add a new user to access the files. Then we set a password for the new user. And now it is time to let Samba know about the new user. And enter the username and password to access the Samba server. Now you can go on any device connected to the same network and you should be able to access files from the Raspberry Pi server. You could also add additional users and give them different privileges in the Samba configuration file. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more such DIY videos.